As we practice every day, our mouthpieces are getting wet, both from condensation, from saliva, and the substances that are within our saliva, like sugars and things like that, are coating the inside of these things, and we need to keep an eye on them. It's, it's quite a well-known fact that if you don't keep the mouthpiece clean and tidy, then if you've got a cough or a cold, the germs can keep being recycled and, and that condition could be prolonged until you do get rid of the germs. My routine, after every playing session, take the pull through, mouthpiece off, couple of times through, yeah, and backwards and forwards, making sure that you get into all the corners. There are corners on the inside of some mouthpieces, not on all, uh, especially if you've got a baffle in there, you need to try and get behind that. Because of that, every couple of days, I will take a mouthpiece brush like this one, run lukewarm water through the mouthpiece, give it a good scrub from both ends to make sure, uh, as I say, I'm getting into any sort of crevices there that are being missed by the pull through. That will keep it clean. Give it a good dry out inside and out using a pull through or a towel. One thing you do have to be careful of, as I did say, use lukewarm water or cold. Don't use hot. If you use hot, I don't know whether you can see, the bottom mouthpiece is a nice shiny black. The top mouthpiece is, is brown uh, by comparison. And that's where it's had hot water or maybe some form of disinfectant used on it there. It doesn't affect the playing of the mouthpiece at all. Uh, it just is, doesn't look aesthetically as good. Now, this mouthpiece, and it, I've got to admit, it's not one I use at all. It came with an old saxophone, but you can see inside there the buildup of, uh, well, just the buildup of rubbish that has come from it not being looked after properly. Yet again, it can be cleaned, uh, but as it's not a mouthpiece I intend using, I'll leave that to somebody else at a later date. So that's just as an example. The other thing as far as mouthpieces go is the patch that we put on the back to protect our teeth, uh, one of these little sort of stickies. After a while, you'll start to notice around the edge uh, a buildup of detritus. And that's normally where the, mat, the patch has moved slightly, maybe from the pressure of the teeth and where the glue was, it's, it's now attracted dust and dirt. So I would suggest that we change the patch probably every, once a month should be, should be fine. Even if it's not worn out, just to stop that sort of horribleness around the mouthpiece, around the patch being inside our mouth. Uh, we then move on to the neck. Two areas of the neck that I think, well, three areas that are very important. One is to the tenon. Always give that a good uh, dry after every session. Same as the mouthpiece, put the weight through. I always put the weight through the big end, not the little end. Pull it through and backwards and forwards or take it around a few times, give it a good pull. That's done. You can, yet again, you can run this through the tap, under the tap, lukewarm water again. On the pad, what I would suggest you do before you do it, well I do, is put uh, cling film around that to protect the pad. Yeah, put cling film around the pad, close the pad up, run the water through, make sure that the small end is not pointing towards you, otherwise you're gonna get soaked. And that will do it. And I always follow it up with the mouthpiece brush again, giving it a good sort of clean around the inside, both ends. You can buy longer flexible brushes that will go all the way through. The only problem I've found with those is the, the bristles on it weren't very snug. You were just sort of tickling this end, where well, it's quite snug this end. I find this mouthpiece brush a lot more beneficial and it is flexible enough to get around the bend and meet in the middle. So give it a rinse through again, just to make sure you got rid of everything. And then finally, cork grease. Uh, if it's a new saxophone or a new piece of cork on there, should be done daily. If it's been around for a while like this one, then probably every two to three days. Bit of cork grease just to make it easier to get the mouthpiece on so it doesn't scrunch up and you've got to go and get it repaired again. I hope that's been of use. Uh, any comments below about things that you do differently or any suggestions for future videos would be really helpful. 
If you like the video, pop a like, and I hope you have. Subscribe button to see more from the channel, and I'll hopefully see you soon. Happy tooting. Thank you.